So I'm going to show you how I keep my wig on securely, which is with a grip. It keeps the wig on with friction. I'm also going to show you how I put my wig on. And I'm also going to show you what I do to get the hair to stay off of my face. It's very simple. Let's get to it. Put it around, you secure it. I will also hold the hair. So I've worn wigs for 11 years due to having female pattern baldness. The way I've kept my wig on is using a band called a wig, wig grip or a wig grip, depending on how you're pronouncing it. But it is a velour band that keeps the wig on with friction. And a huge concern of people, understandably, is how the wig is gonna stay on their head. If not for this band, any one of them actually, I mean, they all kind of, like I said, they, they all function conceptually the same they're keeping the wig on with friction but the band does need to be going in the correct direction for it to function because otherwise it won't have the grip that it needs and the wig is just going to slide off they also come with grip caps so if you want to have more coverage on the top and you're if you have a sensitive scalp that may be helpful i do think the caps add a little bit of thickness to the top which may be a benefit if you find your wig is a little bit big but it won't be a benefit if your wig is already tight they come with a kind of a bra strap nape type of closure in the back, which is a thinner nape that some people like. They come with a thicker Velcro, which is kind of like the original one, that the main one that I've worn, which is this one. And it has a thicker Velcro base. Some people like it, some people don't. When I first started wearing them, I used to cut it down. Now I don't really care. The shaved head actually, which I do do for hair loss to help conceal my hair loss, does act as a bit of a Velcro, surprisingly. Some other women that I know that do this have discovered that it's just, it helps the wig stay on better with nothing, but I still feel it's most secure with a grip. Just one side note on this is that for some people, the grip doesn't actually stay on their head. And I think it's due to either placement, correct placement, or this part of the head right here is flatter. And for that reason, it slides up or rides up. The grip usually has an indicator that's going to let you know what direction this is supposed to be going in. And in this case, the tag is supposed to be on the right side. See if I can put this on in this little window here. And you just fasten it in the back like that you want to make sure you're not putting it too far back like that where it's loose where it can possibly easily come off like that it needs to be behind you know you want it to be not you know in front of your wig but you don't want it to be so far back that it's going to slide more easily if the grip slips when you're wearing it the wig will slip on a long day wear when i've worn my wig let's say i started wearing it in the morning and was going to go out at night to go to dinner or dancing i would definitely redo the grip ten thousand percent i've actually been at a club and gone to the bathroom stall or at the bathroom wash area and redid it because that amount of you know shaking and duration i could feel there was a little bit of looseness and i did not want to take the chance that my wig would actually slip because i do actually have a friend of mine that her wig slipped off at a club uh, with a grip and she also actually had a issue with keeping the grip on in general a little bit because her back of her head was flatter but i'm hyper aware of that possibility existing but the chances of it are low if you know that grip is in a correct position this is definitely a correct position i can feel this thing is really snug to my head when you're wearing a grip you'll feel it loosen up a little bit in the day and if it's a long day wear by the end of the time you take off your wig at the end of the day you may find that it's already like this by the end of the day but it's still staying on your head it just may feel a little bit off but you can tell just know that the more that that grip is slipping the more the possibility exists that that wig can come off so i am always very careful about ensuring that grip is on a secure placement so put it around you secure it and on my head that works for about right here so last year my hairline moved back and then all the years prior i had the I knew the placement of where it should be because I was putting it slightly behind my hairline. I was pulling my hair out to blend with my closed front wigs, which is the wig with no lace. And I didn't realize my hairline was moving back. And so I kept doing what I was doing and I couldn't figure out why my grip all of a sudden for the first time in a decade started falling off of my head. This is not something that happened before. The reason why was because of what I just explained, which is why I was basically doing this. So I'm actually putting my grip really pretty much like kind of at my hairline right now i am wearing lace front wigs and on my head that's actually where it really needs to be for placement once i figured that out i moved the grip to the correct position and i really wasn't able to pull out my hairline because there wasn't much to pull out i can't start putting my wig back here and pulling out this hair that's where the more of the density is i didn't have the issue so grip on you know 
secured in the back indicator where it's supposed to be you can also tell by knowing that it should be rough going back and it should be smooth going forward so if you don't have an indicator on your grip just know the the velour texture should be rough grain back smooth forward and you're in a good spot get your wig and i just put it on by holding the back and the side and i dive in and i don't know if i have a comb here so this is going to look crazy because i don't plan on styling this right now on camera i do plan on actually styling it in a second because i gotta leave so maybe i'll just record it run away fix it up and come back um but so then you just you know adjust your wig also by the ear tabs if it has lace you do not want to be touching the lace on your wig it can cause it to loosen and to fray so always adjust the wig by the ear tab now i cannot tell on this little thing here if my wig is on right that is about where it needs to be now i need to go fix this properly I am running so late, but I figure I'll just quickly bring you in the bathroom with me. I get a spray bottle, spray my hair. The wigs that are the silk top, or they're called skin top or French top, they have, they mimic the natural scalp appearance. Those tend to want to fall on your face more than a lace top. So I just usually get some a spray bottle, spray it back, and then use a blow dryer to get it to kind of set off of my face. We'll do, I do one other thing, which is in order for this to look more natural for me, I like the front to have a little bit of lift and I need this back part to be a little bit flatter. So I use the nozzle to also go in down, go to the direction of the, where the hair is going, but flatten it a bit. Now, if you actually have some hair along this region here, you want to pull out your sideburn area and your temple hair area um, for a like a nice blend around the ears. Uh, it looks, it's a nice seamless transition and really makes this area look a lot more natural. I don't obviously have that, so I can't do that. But if you have it, you want to use it. I'm going to use a little bit more water. Check the time. in a little bit and a little bit more blow dryer I will also hold the hair that's like my setting device I will hold the hair up when it has a little dampness and blow to help it stay up and off of my face so I just like that I'm holding it when it has a little bit of spritz of water in there and then blowing it Things I do check when I, after I put my wig on just to make sure everything's in the right place. I do tend to tuck around my ears. You know, it won't look as natural because I have no hair to blend, but I do tuck anyways, even underneath the hair. And I want to make sure the tabs are in the correct, comfortable position, not to in a, like a position that I wouldn't be able to do that. Sometimes that means having to squish the side. Sometimes that means having to readjust it just a little bit to make sure it's in the right spot but i want to make sure that i can comfortably in the day you know tuck it's not going to look super natural but isn't that's it's fine it is what it is but i want to be able to tuck with comfort and not have it be have it be hitting like a brick wall there so i make sure both sides can have tuckage even if the front hair is coming forward. So that is how I get my wig on. That is how I get it to stay off my face for the day. I just use a little bit of water and blow dryer. That is something that I do have to do every single time I do put this type of wig on. It is required for me anyways, to need to just do a little bit of spritz or sometimes no spritz and just blow dryer to get the hair going the correct direction. Because like I said, these type of tops, the silk top, fringe top, skin top, they want to fall forward. So um, to get it to stay out of my face, a little bit of water, a blow dryer, got my grip on underneath here. This is wig is not going anywhere and we are good to go. And I've got three minutes to down some coffee and make it to my appointment.